let's take a minute and think about the realization of Andrew McNair's vision for the egg. Um, it's a three-dimensional object. It's a complex shape. That complex shape has to go from an art form to the production process of creating the shell and the structure. I've been given the shape of the egg form in a computer definition, which is all digits. And from the computer definition of the form, there's a number of aspects that need to be included to get to building the part. I'm taking the time to pull together all of the uh, architectural aspects and building aspects at this point and proving them out on paper and then constructing the jig that you see in the background. What I'm doing now is the phase or transition from the technical and digital aspects of this complex shape to actually laying out full size the parts that will be going into the jig which will define the shape. We're going from a technical digital aspect to let's say a purely organic aspect of defining the shape. Our final definition is a very organic shape and one that can't be totally produced in the digital realm and at the end of the day has to feel good in the hands of the builder. And that shape is going to be given to us by this batten, which is a piece of wood. And at this point, we need to recognize that all of the construction is wood, and we can only give it the shape that this organic piece of material will give us. We, we see on here a lineup of uh, nails which define the offsets in the shape and we're going to bend this batten around and then give it a very precise form and shape given by this batten. I'm, I'm really pleased that you've been able to uh, share this moment of transformation in going from the digital realm into the organic realm of this shape. You can't see it now, but you will be able to see the graceful nature of this shape when the form is done. And I'm really looking forward to sharing that moment with you. two important parts of getting the right shape. One is for the builder to be able to uh, lay it out and overlay the materials in a smooth manner. The other, and I think the most important part of getting the shape, is to get the form uh, in a shape that's really exquisite. And the time that you took to get the shape, which could be wider, longer, shorter, more abrupt, to get that shape perfected is really what's important because that's the experience. That when these are joined, they could have a pre-engineered um, rubber neoprene material. Right. 
yeah. that fits in there yes. that will eliminate their routine maintenance okay. of this adhesive. So we're going to be mm -hmm. providing the means for them to bolt up. All right. And I'll be making jigs to help them pull this together. Yep. Okay. And they'll be providing the bolts because those are readily available there. Right. Uh, right. The wood expands longitudinally with the cells. Okay. And if this was all solid wood, it would expand a certain amount. And in using a plywood, which has grain running this way and this way, mm -hmm. you minimize the amount that it changes mm -hmm. and it doesn't distort or twist. So we have a minimal amount of, of solid wood here in the stringer. Right. And because it's a very fine grain wood, it's very stable and it doesn't expand as much. So in saying all this, we have a rather inert framework, okay. which we're overlaying with um, wood that will have some preparation on the outside and quite possibly it be on the inside with a fiberglass skin which basically keeps it from moving too much. So we're, we're coming up with a wood composite structure and skin um, that mitigates as much as possible any thermal and um, other climactic issues. find it home, may all the weight of the world fall from their shoulders. May their hearts be tranquil, blessed by a peace that God gives and the world cannot give. May this home be a place of hope, where the graces that their lives desire always find pathways to your door. May nothing destructive ever cross your threshold. May this be a safe place full of understanding, acceptance where one can be as one is, the child of God, without the need, need of any masks or pretense or image. May this be a place of discovery where the possibilities that sleep in the clay of people's souls emerge to deepen and refine their vision for all that is yet to come to birth. May it be a house of courage where healing and growth are loved, where dignity and forgiveness prevail a home where the patience of spirit is prized and the sight of the destination is never lost, though the journey be difficult and slow. May there be great delight around this place. May it be a home of welcome for the broken and diminished. And may people have the eyes to see that no visitor arrives without a gift from God. No guest leaves without God's blessing. Lord God of Israel, the heavens cannot contain you, and yet you are pleased to dwell in the midst of your people, and you have moved these people to build a house of prayer. Accept and bless the work so well here begun. Guide the skill of builder and the vision of architect, that it may be brought to a beautiful conclusion to the honor and glory of your holy name, Father, Son, and Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. There you are. Christening. We do that for the second visit. Yeah, but I wouldn't want to break the bottle of champagne up. Yeah. Not quite yet. Thank you. A sprinkle. Thank you. <laughs> Reverend Gavin. Very nice.